Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, back again with another Pro Tools video tutorial. In this video, we'll be discussing the different automation modes that you can choose from in Pro Tools. Uh, the default, which is Auto Read. There is also Write, which writes destructively over any automation in its path. Uh, there's also Latch, which doesn't write until you actually touch the parameter or move it for the first time. And uh, Touch, finally, writes only automation uh, when it's being moved, and then when you release it, it stops writing. So those are the three different modes, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use them, so let's get into Pro Tools. So before we get started, in case anybody doesn't know exactly what automation is, it's recording the movement of any parameter. So uh, in this case, we'll be automating the volume, but you can also automate tons of other things like um, the dry wet in, the, in um, a plug-in setting or um, panning or anything really. Um, the idea here being that once you've recorded the movement of that parameter, it'll automatically perform that movement during playback, so you don't have to do it anymore. So let's get into our first mode here, and that is write. Uh, write, as we went over, records destructively over any automation in its path. Uh, you can see here on my master fader that I've got uh, some automation already written in. It's just a spike in the volume. Just to show you that when it records over this, it's going to destructively record over this and erase it, and then I'll show you what happens when you move the volume as it's recording. So. You don't have to hit this button to prime it to record. You just hit play. Uh, it's a common mistake. Uh, I know I, I did it a ton of times, but you can't do that on the master fader, so um, that's good. <laughs> but uh, here we go. I'm going to hit play, and it'll record destructively over this. So as you can hear, the volume did dip in this case when we were pulling the volume fader down. However, when it recorded over that volume peak that we saw, um, it just wrote over it completely. So the volume fader never went up and we never heard that increase in volume. All we heard was a decrease in volume because write mode writes destructively over everything. Moving on to latch, uh, it, after you finish with write, it sets it automatically to latch. Uh, latch is a little bit different in the sense that when you hit record, or when you go to record this automation, um, it won't start writing until you move it. So if I set this here, let's set the playhead here, and we're going to set it to auto latch, and we're not going to move it until after this volume dip, and you'll see it'll leave that in, and then we can write new automation afterwards. So that, uh, that automation looks kind of like a mess because there's a lot of dots in there, but you get the idea. I was just dragging the fader up and down, but not until after this, this, um, this dip in, in volume here. So because I was in latch, it didn't write over it. Uh, it just waited until I, was, until I moved the parameter to start recording. So that is your latch automation selection mode. Uh, and the last one we've got here is touch. Uh, the difference between touch and latch um, you'll notice that in latch it didn't start writing until you moved it and then once you let go it still continues to record. Uh, the difference between touch and latch is that touch won't start to record until you move it either but then once you let go it'll go back to all that, all that automation that's already there. It won't write over that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and automate somewhere in this, this, flat, this flat little spot and you'll see I'll be able to change the automation and as soon as I let go it'll go back to all the automation that is already there. So we've got touch set, and we're going to hit play, and we're just going to move that fader. So you can see that red line indicates 
uh, the automation that was recorded, and when I stop the track, it'll show up. There you go. So that's how you use touch. Uh, it's great if you just want to add a little something here and there. Um, you know, and you've got most of your automation recorded and you just want to do some fine tuning. So that's it for all our different automation modes. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, Boyle Music 88. I would really appreciate it. Um, uh, post a comment if you've got any questions or concerns or a video you'd like to see. I'd be happy to address them. And uh, also feel free to check out my blog, ryanboylemusic.com, for all the latest videos and production tips. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you later.